I love tacos. I don't know what kind of flavors are tacos, but we will talk about flavors today. Objectives. What are the objectives of the class? Well, Andrew, can you read to me the objectives, please? Um, objectives. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use vocabulary associated with flavors and tastes. Discuss foods you like and dislike. Very good, okay? So, for material, usually I tell my students, guys, please make sure you have a paper and pen just to take notes, okay? Because at the end of class, we will review what we learned. So if you want to take notes with paper and pen or on your computer, okay? Let's start with our warm up. Um, Marcelo, which ice cream flavors do you like the most? Tell me. Um, I, I, I like the favorite um, ice cream is the, um, um, ah, the pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple, yes. They're my favorite. Ice okay, cream. what are your top three, Marcelo? What are your top three? Three favorite flavors. Pineapple, uh, what else? Three. Uh huh. And the melon, the melon. Um, melon? Okay. Yes. And. Um, ah. Frutilla in, in, in English is. Which strawberry. one? Strawberry? What? Isn't it fresa? Strawberry? Strawberry? Yes. yes. Pineapple, melon, and strawberry. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Maribel, what about you? Three favorite flavors of ice cream. Mm, okay. I like the um, flavors. Uh, pistachio. Um, okay. mango. Okay. Um, and the other is maracuya. I don't know what is the meaning maracuya. Oh. <laughs> How do I say maracuya in English, guys? Andrew? Maracuya. Uh, Maricelo? Maracuya? No? Um, no. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Passion fruit. It's passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. In Canada, we yes, do not fruit. have passion fruit. Passion oh. fruit does not exist. Only oh. when I came to Mexico, I ate passion fruit for the first time. Mm -hmm. But I never tried passion fruit. It's delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Maribel. Thank you. Um, Andrew, what about you? Three um, ice cream flavors that you love the most. Top three. Uh, my number one is coconut. Okay. Um, vanilla. Mm -hmm. And strawberry. I like strawberry. Okay. Yes. Um, I think for me, vanilla. Pistachio too. And mm, I don't know if you guys have this in Ecuador or in Chile, but do you guys know the ice cream store Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen? No? It's mm -hmm. a ice cream shop, ice cream store, Dairy Queen. They have Oreo ice cream, like mixed um, or. <clears throat> peanut butter ice cream oh <laughs> that is delicious okay very good now what about spices which spice flavors do you like the most example me pepper black pepper with everything 
I use black pepper with everything and onion powder or like garlic. Excellent. What about you, Andrew? Only two, two spices. Um, it, it's my... I don't cook. <laughs> I don't cook, teacher. Right? <laughs> and yes, see, I am, um, I am cook, oh. but uh, my my pref uh, I prefer garlic and pepper always. Uh, exactly, simple and delicious. With Marcella. with with, uh -huh. with the meat with uh, the meat, uh, garlic, um, pepper and butter. Excellent. Yeah. Only yeah. Excellent. What about you, Marcelo? Any two flavors, spice flavors that you like? Yes, and the, and the glass and in the different uh, flavor um, is um, the chocolate and liquid, liquid, or liquid. Oh. But yes. we're talking about spices. Yes. And, like, uh -huh. Yes. And the cut, the chocolate in, in the eggs. In eggs? Eggs and the, the ice cream. Oh, oh, but we are talking about mm. spice. <clears throat> like when you are cooking, Marcelo, yeah. not chocolate. Like uh -huh. cooking, like garlic or cinnamon, things like that. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Do you have two that you like? <laughs> um, in, and the, the chocolate uh, is the mesc, mesc, mezcla, ¿cómo se dice mezcla? Mix, 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 mix. Uh, the chocolate is mix. Um, the, the cookie. Um, or or the wine. <laughs> oh, the, the the ice cream and the wine. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, Maribel, what about you? Any special flavors? Mm, yes, I like uh, onion and okay. garlic. Maybe a little paper. Oh, excellent. Okay. Well, very good. So. Today, guys, we are talking about flavors, different spices. Now, of course, we have to start with a little vocabulary, okay? This activity, number one, Andrew, can you read to me the words one to six? Only the words, Andrew. Go ahead. Only the words. The Only the words, please. Example, taste, right? Taste, one yeah. to six, Andrew. Can you read it to me, the words? Uh, taste, tongue, texture, uh, arum, arum, no sé, uh, aroma, 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 savory, oh. synthetic, synthetic. Synthetic. Excellent. Synthetic. Synthetic, right? Um, Maribel, can you read to me from A to F, the definitions A to F, please? A to F, okay. Uh, A, delicious, tasty, and pleasant smell. Uh, a spicy quality without being sweet. Excellent. Be careful, Maribel. This mm -hmm. word, oops, hold on, let me change the color. Taste, not taste. tasty, taste. 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 Okay, taste, okay. very good. Letter um, B, please. E, the way that something feels when you touch it. Okay. E, a usually pleasant smell. The smell. Smell. Mm -hmm. smell. The, uh, the, to recognize flavors when you eat or drink, flavor sensation. A, something made, made by combining, oh, sorry, 
I don't see it. Okay. By combining different artificial substan substances. And F, the muscle in the mode used for testing, eat, eating, and in humans for speaking. Excellent. Thank you, Mani Bet. Okay. Um, what I want to do, um, Andre, sorry, Andrew, are you using a computer or a cell phone? A cell phone. Cell phone. Marcelo, are you using a computer or a cell phone? A uh, computer. Excellent. Marcelo, please listen to me. At the top of Zoom, okay, you will see view options or more options. Can you check at the top of Zoom? You mm -hmm. will see view options or more options. Do you see it? Okay. Do you see on top view options or more options? Do you see? Yes, yes. I'm yes, actually. press it. Press, toca, mm -hmm. press, and you will and, see. And, and the red uh -huh. name. Oh, no. Um, okay, never mind. Because I want you <laughs> on Zoom, guys. Um, uh, Natalie, Mahide, na, na, uh -huh. Nadie, uh, you and the other read and the options and the page. No. Uh -huh. so our own. Annotate, annotate. Press yeah. annotate, Marcelo. Excellent. It will give you a black bar with T for text or a crayon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, everyone listen very carefully. Andrew, Maribel, and Marcelo. You have to match the vocabulary. Marcelo, you will write the letter next to, for example, taste. Okay, which one is taste? A, B, C, D, E, or F? Oh, it's letter E. You will write letter E next to the word. You have to write the letters. But you guys are working to together to answer the question. Capish or so so? Oh, you guys um... so so we capish no? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes? So remember uh -huh. yes. Marcelo, you will write on my board. You will write the answer on my board next to the word with the annotate with the T for text. Capish? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so start. Yes. You you create a conversation and uh, occupation. The you word. guys have to match. No, you have no. to match. Match. Match the definition. Ah. So one taste. You will write the letter. Okay. So start. Empiezan. You will not see me. I am not here. <laughs> okay. uh, for the number two, I think is F. I think. I think. Uh, yeah. For aroma. Yeah. Is C. But you said implicit it smell. No. Yeah. Bring. Date. Um, five in the uh, D. Marcelo, are you writing the answers? Um. No, it's okay. No, no. I will write the answers. So what's number two, guys? Two is what number? F. F. Four, And uh, Andrew, what did you say for number four? Yeah, C. C. What's another one? 
That's what I meant by putting the word next to, the letter next to the word, but it's okay. Um, Marcelo, can you read to me 7 to 12, please? Number 7 to 12, can you a read fantasy, to me the words? Mm -hmm. A fantasy. A fantasy is... No, a just read to me K the letters. K. Just read. Uh, very good. Is, but can you just uh, read to the me the... Imagination, no real. Uh, fantasy, 7. Very good. Hold on. Hold on, Marcelo. Mm -hmm. Just read to me the words 7 to 12. Just read 7 to 12, not the answer. Just 7 to 12. Okay? So fantasy okay. is 7. What about number 8? Uh, A 7 is K. Not the no. answer. Just read ah. the words. So then, yeah, just read the words. Like seven, number eight. What is the word? I um, imagine. 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 Yeah. Imagination. Imagination. Um. No real. Uh, yes, Marcelo, but no. Solamente leer las palabras. <laughs> Solamente leer las palabras. De 7 a 12. Mm -hmm. No las respuestas. Solamente ah. las palabras. Ah, the, Only the, the words. Yeah. Okay. Fantasy, appetizing, process, replication, compote, recreate. Excellent. Okay. So, thank you, Marcelo. Uh, number seven is K. Andrew, what about the next one? Appetizing. Appetizing. G. Letter G. Very good. Uh, Marilo, do you want to try number nine? Uh, 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 L. 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 T. Oops. And twelve. Okay. 
Unfortunately, what? no. You have no. some mistakes here. No. It's a... Right? No. There are some mistakes here. What are the mistakes? Uh, come to see. What are the mistakes? Oh, Marie Ben, you can write on my board. Yes. Oh, yes, Marie Ben, you wrote on my board. Yes, that's very good. Yay. Okay. Um, number seven is fantasy in the imagine. Oh, there she is really writing on my board now. Oh, okay. Oh, no. All right. So number seven is K. Very good. K. Appetite. Oh, that's Maddie Ben. Now you're really writing. Excuse me. I don't know what happened. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you are Picasso, don't worry. Um, okay, so G is good, right? No. Processed is H, something that is formed by combining two or more parts. That is not good. No. What is processed? What does that mean, processed? Which letter? <laughs> Something that is processed. Think of like processed meat. It's not natural, right? Mm. Something that is processed is something that was like changed, right? Mm. Okay. It's a. Uh yes think about yeah. um l it's processed so what about replication what is replication hmm. make something uh, make something what make something exits again again I, I, the act of rebelling, of copying something exactly. Exactly. Be careful. Replication is you have the iPhone, replication of the iPhone. You are just copy, copy, paste, copy, paste. <coughs> okay? Mm -hmm. So, what about compound? Compound. Uh, H. Excellent. H. Something that is formed by combining two or more parts. That's compound. A compound. Which means? Make something. Okay. We create. Mm -hmm. I make a cake. No, horrible cake. I recreate, not mm -hmm. replication. No, uh, okay. I horrible. Okay. I okay. do again. We okay. capish now? Yes. 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 Questions. Yes. Any questions? Questions. No? no, no question. Which means, yay, more practice. <laughs> da, da. Okay, um, Maribel, you know how to write on my board, yes? Okay. Okay, listen very carefully. Oops. Maribel, you will write only the letter, not the word. So mm -hmm. 
Andrew, Marcelo, Maribel. You have to match the word with the sentence. For example, number one, the mm isn't right. It should be soft and smooth, but it is hard and rough. Okay, the taste, the appetizing, the texture, the replication, the tongue, or the recreate. Which one? And the word. No, the word. What is the word? Uh -huh. Maybe the, the, the word. Again, right bit. C maybe. C C. Which is A, B, C. 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 So Maribel, very good. Maribel, you will just write the letter C. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Do we capish? Yeah. Yes? All right, go. Mm. Do it together as a group. Mm -hmm. For number two, what do you think? I want to eat that. Uh, I think B. B. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My phone, I, I don't have a control. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Me... <laughs> yeah. um, the next. Number three, what is? We lost a lot of the files. We have Maybe it's L or D? D. D. I think D. A lot of the files, so we have to. What do you think, Marcelo? Um. We lost a lot of the files, so we had to. Lose. Replication? Oh, okay. This D? Maybe this D? The next is A. No. I want to look. I want to look. So yes, yes. Your mouth is out your the tongue. E. Okay. No, okay, baby. baby. Like the, um, like. Is the um, is the taste taste taste? Yeah. A. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, we work it on the on the party for the three months. The last one. F. 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 Um. He what? On the okay. F. He work it F. Yeah. <clears throat> well. The next? Or no, only? not yet. Oh, okay. Okay, so very good. Two, four, and five are perfect. But look at letter D and letter F. Mm -hmm. We lost a lot of files, so we had to replication them. Mm -hmm. Replication them. Or he worked on the... Uh, recreate. We lost the files. Mm. 
the three create so we have to agree them oh yeah you guys have to switch them yeah so this is wrong this is wrong we had to okay. recreate them mm -hmm. and he worked on the replication replication okay very good though any questions questions i confuse in this word yeah. you are confused oh. me too me too i will tell you why taste okay let's go back to the previous slide mm. oops look at what we have here There. No. Uh -huh. You have to be careful because taste is a noun or verb. Mm -hmm. Tongue is a noun. Texture is a noun. Oh, picture. Mm -hmm. Um uh, savory is an adjective. Synthetic is an adjective. So, mm -hmm. if you go back here, guys, the taste. It's a noun. It's a noun. Mm -hmm. Oops. The. Oh, that looks so appetizing. It's an adjective, right? Here it's adjective we lost a lot of the files so we had two every time you guys have two you guys yeah. need a verb that goes after it two always after two there is a verb see mm -hmm. es con un verbo mm -hmm. so you need to put a verb here mm -hmm. which is right great Recreate, mm -hmm. which is a verb. Yeah. Ah, here you have the. No. Replication. Replication is a noun. So you have to put replication here. Teacher, you oh. are amazing. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Application. Yes. Do you guys want to try um, the next ones again? Yes. yes. Let's try uh, the next set. I will put A, B, C again. Andrew, do you want to try to write on my board? Andrew, do you want to try? Mm, I no, I I am cell phone. Yes, so is Maribel. I think with your cell phone you can draw. Go like this with your cell phone. I think you can draw. No, it's not working. <laughs> yes. Andrew, very good. Oh no, okay, Andrew, not everywhere. Oh. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay. So again, same activity, do it again, okay? Okay. Go. Um, Uh, B. B. <laughs> I think. It... <laughs> I don't know. Yes. You can also talk and play with their fantasy oh. film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can do it. I can do it. Find something because they so wonderful. They. 
D. Ya, ahí lo diría. D. D, ya. Sports clubs are made from. Ah, uh, synthetic. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Liz. I think there's someone here. It's you. <laughs> That's okay. So, to part. Mm -hmm. It's C. The next is C. To part. Yes? No? Creative. Yes. Yes, it's it's saying, yeah. See. Companies that can create highly. What's the idea that children? A. A. Uh huh. Sweets. The last one. Table. Mm -hmm. It's a. E. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> Let's review. So, children, be a uh, fantasy. Excellent. I can't resist buying something because the aroma. aroma oh, excellent. Aroma. Are made from synthetic fibers, excellent. If that's it, is in two part compound, very good. Food companies often create highly, very good, process targeted. Mm -hmm. The menu has both savory, excellent. So easy. Now that we got beach, right? You're right. Excellent. Any questions about the vocabulary words? Any questions? Marcelo, Maribel, Andrew, any questions? No. No. No? Marcelo? No, no, no question. No questions? All right. Okay, let's let's continue. Now I want to play a little game. Okay. And it's how do you describe these foods? Well, first, let's kind of name these foods, right? So picture one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, and all right, what is food number one, Marcelo, which is my favorite food? It's not really a um, food, but. Ah, and the coffee. The coffee. I drink coffee. like five cups of coffee a day. It's ridiculous. Lots of coffee in my system. What about yeah, number two, uh, Andrew? What is number two? Mm. Uh, Definitely remember. not toronja, because that is in Spanish. Toronja, toronja. No, that's remember. in Spanish. How do I say it in English? Great. I hear someone behind you helping you. Who is the person? <laughs> I I hear someone behind you who's saying grape, grape. <laughs> in my wife. Thank you, wife. <laughs> it grape, is called grape a fruit. grapefruit. Grapefruit. Yes. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, right? Uh, number three, Maribel, what is that, number three? Maribel, are you there? Oh, no. Oh, you are on mute, Maribel. I don't know if... Oh, excuse me, I have a, a issues with my internet. Oh. oh, it's okay. Um, can you tell me what number three is? Picture number three. 
Oh, I don't know if she can hear me. That's okay. Marcelo, number three. And there, number Very three. good. Very good. Um, Andre, number four. Uh, sorry, on Andrew. Andrew, I'm so sorry. Andrew, number four, please. Uh, you are on mute. Andrew, you're on mute. Chocolate. Of course, chocolate. Number five, Marcelo? Potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes, so potatoes, yes. Uh, yes, but... A potatoes. I <laughs> like, I don't say like, oh, <laughs> I want a bag of potatoes. Eh, not really. We don't really say that. I no. <laughs> ah, chips. chips okay, chips, right? Potato, no? <laughs> potato chips. But usually potato in English, chips. we just say we just say chips, right? Okay. Fries. Ah, uh, what? A, no, careful. Fries is what you eat with like hamburger. Those are fries. Okay. These are chips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What about number six, Andrew? I don't know. Mango. Mango! Same mango, thing mango. in English. Mango, mango. <laughs> mango, mango. Okay. What about number seven? Corn. <laughs> like, yeah, it's corn, but pop, it's like... Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Pop, 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 Popcorn, yes. Popcorn. It's popcorn. Yay. Um, what about number eight? Me? Uh-huh. Strawberry. Uh, oh, I always forget this word in Spanish. In Spanish, it's a uh, uh, mal malteado. Malteado? Oh. Yes. Yeah. A yeah, strawberry. Yeah. How do I say yeah. manteado? Milkshake. Milkshake. Yes. It's a strawberry milkshake, right? Yeah. Strawberry milkshake. milkshake. Okay. Milkshake. Um, Marcelo, number nine. The lemon. Okay. Be careful. In Canada, Number nine is not a lemon. Number 12 ah. is a lemon. Mm. What is different than the different lemon? <laughs> um, lemons right. are ah. uh, yellow and limes are green. Okay. Like Lime. limes are Lime. small. Yeah, it's very weird. Uh, limes are small okay. and green. Lemons are like... Big, okay. but yellow. Yeah. Okay. What about number 10? Andrew, what is number 10? Uh, oh. You're peanuts. not saying. Yes. Very good. Peanuts. And finally, number 11. Mm. Um. Blueberries. Thank you, Maribel. Blueberries. Yes. Blueberries. Blueberries, right? <clears throat> so each one of these foods have different types of, you know, flavors or maybe textures, right? Popcorn does not feel like peanuts or like a milkshake, right? Lemon does not have the same taste as uh, coffee. Definitely not. Okay. Let's play one little game. And then we will continue. So we're talking about flavors, right? When you are describing food, you usually... Uh -huh categorize them between sweet, salty, bitter, or sour, right? 
So for example, coffee, no milk and no sugar, right? Coffee is sweet, salty, bitter, or sour. Like um, amargo, amargo, I think. Amargo? Sour. So bit, bitter, bitter. Bitter, bitter, bitter. right? Uh, uh, amargo, I think, is bitter, right? Okay. What about okay. chocolate? Sweet. A hundred percent sweet. What about beer? So, so I would say more like bitter. Bit, bitter. I don't know, like bitter, right? Bitter. Not salty. It's more like bitter. What bitter. about a banana? <laughs> sweet. Sweet. <laughs> And what about a grapefruit? Bitter. Uh, bitter. I would say sour. Sour. Okay? It's more sour mm. than bitter. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Listen up. Um, well, that is actually the end of my lesson of today. I know we did not finish. But if you guys come to a Canaway class, we will finish <laughs> our <laughs> wonderful lesson. Okay? So um, I am done. So the other Canaway, I, I don't remember. It's all Valerie. Valerie? Oh, yeah, no. that's me. I'm sure. Hello. Here. Yes. Hello, Valerie. How are you? I'm good. Your class was excellent. Thank you, Nadine. No, I had excellent students. I'm very impressed with them. So, Marcelo, Maribel, and Andrew, it was very nice to meet you guys. Thank you for coming to my class. And I will see you one day in a Canaway class. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Bless you. All right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, Andrew. Tell your wife, thank you for grapefruit. Um, Marcelo and Maribel, I will see you guys soon. Okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Bueno, hola, chicos. Como les comenté al inicio, yo voy a comentarles un poco más sobre cómo son las clases aquí en Canoe en cuanto a horarios, eh, beneficios, eh, promociones que tengamos vigentes. Entonces, como esta clase que he experimentado hoy eh, era de nivel intermedio y estaba a cargo de la profesora Nadine del curso de inglés general para jóvenes y adultos de 15 años a más. Ahora, eh, nosotros en inglés general tenemos todos los niveles, inducción, básico, intermedio y avanzado. Pero es muy importante resaltar que para poder saber cuál es su nivel, tienen que rendir un examen de clasificación, que es completamente gratuita. Entonces, si bien o sea, hoy ha experimentado una clase de, de intermedio, es importante saber en cuál de los intermedios están ubicados. ¿no? Tenemos, por ejemplo, el intermedio 1 al intermedio 8. Es un examen que dura aproximadamente 25 minutos y eh, les va a permitir para poder así asignarlos al nivel que corresponde. En caso que en el examen eh, consideren que no es la nota o no es el nivel que ustedes consideren, pueden tener una entrevista en inglés con uno de los profesores de Canaway para así reevaluar el nivel en que que, que han obtenido y eh, ya se les asigna un nuevo nivel o se quedan en el nivel que corresponde, ¿no? Entonces, nosotros tenemos en este caso ocho niveles de intermedio y cuatro meses de avanzado. Todas las clases de inglés general son de lunes a viernes, una hora y media de clases y eh, en total se dictan aproximadamente 18 clases por cada mes. Tenemos un calendario académico que les va a ayudar a ustedes a ver cuál es el inicio de clases, el fin de clases, eh, qué días tienen fechas de assignments, evaluaciones particulares, 
para así poder acumular puntos y, bueno, aprobar el curso. Cada nivel tiene un examen final, que tienen que aprobarlo eh, con 70% más. Entonces, en caso de que no llegaran a ese puntaje, pero sus assignments, sus tareas que han entregado durante el mes, los puede ayudar para poder pasar el nivel, así que no se preocupen. Pero la idea es que obviamente practiquen, estudien y puedan pasar en el examen final con la mejor nota. Cada clase eh, tiene eh, en total 24 horas de clases en vivo con los profesores. A partir de básico 6 es que van a tener profesores nativos. Entonces las clases van a ser 100% en inglés. Aquí nadie sí maneja, como ven, maneja un poco el español, pero la idea es que puedan resolver dudas, eh, hacer preguntas, responder todo en cuanto a la clase en inglés para que así puedan practicarlo. Así como Nadine, nosotros elegimos a profesores para esos eventos en particular, que sí manejen un poco el español para que pueda ayudarlos. Pero eso sí, eso no, eso no implica que en todas las, todos los niveles de intermedio el profesor que te asignen pueda manejar el español. En su mayoría no manejan el español. Entonces, sí, sí es fundamental, como les decía, ¿no? dar este examen de clasificación para ubicarlos correctamente en el nivel que les corresponda. Probablemente aquí ha sentido que el inglés ha sido como que es 90% y no se sentían tan seguros. Entonces, ese examen de repente los va a llevar a un básico de repente más alto, ¿no? Un básico 8, un básico 10 incluso, para reforzar algunos puntos y ya comienzan el total. Eh, también tenemos otros cursos. Eh, de repente ya manejan el inglés o ya han estudiado el inglés en una academia en su país y tenemos cursos, como cursos que les va a poder reforzar más. Como es un curso de conversación, eh, tenemos para niveles básico, intermedio y avanzado y para cada uno hay un requisito. Aquí sí las clases son de lunes a jueves, una hora y media con un profesor. Y también, no sé, si es que eso es en básico 6, porque ya aquí ya son profesores eh, nativos. Entonces, todas las clases de conversación ya son con profesores eh, canadienses para que les pueda ayudar a eh, mejorar la pronunciación, la fluidez. En caso de que estén pensando en migrar a Canadá vía estudios, eh, un examen muy importante que tienen que rendir es el examen IELTS. Entonces, si quieren postular a un college o una universidad, les van a pedir el examen sí o sí, con un puntaje específico. Normalmente va de 6.5 para arriba. Y tenemos un paquete especial de tres meses para poder prepararlo para el examen. Ah, tienen simulacros, cubre todas las unidades eh, que vienen en el mismo examen y son profesores, uno, profesores nativos. Este, sí, este, coméntame. Disculpa. Este, eh, el, el IELTS, eh, ah, dura tres meses. Sí, este dura tres meses. Sí. También tiene la opción de pagar solo un mes o dos meses. Lo recomendable siempre es el paquete completo porque así puedes abarcar todas las unidades y todas las, to, sí. to, to, todas las categorías que hay en el examen IELTS. ¿no? Es, es sí, el, lo ideal en los tres meses. Todo. Ya, uh -huh. tres meses lo ideal, digamos. Sí, tres meses lo ideal. Y o sea, ¿Y, lo, incluso, y, lo, ¿Y los horarios del, del IELTS? El, los, uy, los horarios de IELTS, ahí va a depender eh, de la disponibilidad. Nosotros manejamos horarios fijos. Eh, no es como una plataforma donde eh, te metes al horario que tú quieras, sino normalmente o te manejamos horarios de muy mañana, porque hay gente que trabaja y estudia. Entonces estamos hablando de un 7 de la mañana hora Toronto. O si no, también en la noche, a partir de las siete y media. Eh, va, hay, ¿Hora Toronto? Mm, sí, hora Toronto. Entonces, eh, ¿Qué, qué, hora, qué, hora, ¿qué hora es allá en este momento? A ver, ahorita, por ejemplo, yo estoy en Perú. Ahorita, no me equivoco, son las siete y estamos a una hora de diferencia. Eh, ellas son las ocho ahorita. Uh -huh. Sí, acá estamos son las veinte horas. Hora. Y incluso, eh, lo, bueno, el horario de clases me parece que lo manejamos con la hora, hora de Lima, Perú, si no me equivoco. 
Eh, entonces, eh, yo lo que sí te puedo recomendar es que en un momentito les voy a pasar el link de los asesores para que puedan con ellos compartirles las, mm. los horarios disponibles que tenemos, porque las clases inician el lunes 5 de junio, así que tienen tiempo para poder inscribirse. Eh, en el caso de IELTS, aquí, eh, como les comentaba, no tienen tanto disponibilidad de pagar por un mes o por dos meses, y bueno, el paquete con tres meses. Ahora, si sientes que necesitas más preparación y tienes tiempo para prepararte más, más meses disponibles, eh, sí, puedes llevar recursos de preparación a ellos todas las veces que quieras, todos los meses que quieras, porque se ven diferentes temas. Y no solo eso, sino que vas practicando más el examen. ¿no? La idea del IELTS no es que manejes el inglés y ya, sino también es reconocer el examen de pies a cabeza, conocer los temas, las posibles preguntas, practicar y practicar y practicar. Entonces, el IELTS como el curso de conversación también te puedes inscribir todas las veces que quieras. Igual que inglés para negocios, en caso de que quieran ir a Canadá a trabajar, practicar un poco el inglés profesional. Eh, también tenemos el curso de escritura, en caso de que sean empresarios y tengan que mandar correos o incluso si quieren reforzar el IELTS, la parte de, de escribir los ensayos, también lo pueden practicar en este curso. Y por último tenemos el curso de pronunciación, que aquí a comparación de conversación sí es más especializado en, con profesores nativos para practicar aquellas palabras o frases donde por ser de Latinoamérica nos hace, se nos hace más difícil. ¿no? Eh, bueno, ¿por qué? Por las razones por qué inscribirse aquí con nosotros en Canoway es 100% online. Todos los profesores se conectan de manera online en diferentes partes, tanto de Canadá como profesores que se encuentran ya en otros países. El examen de clasificación que les comentaba es completamente gratis. El material también de estudios está completamente incluido y van a poder ver las grabaciones de las clases todas las veces que quieran para repasar y van a tener el material disponible a tres meses después de haber acabado un ciclo, ¿no? Eh, y también el certificado es completamente gratis de manera digital. Se puede solicitar tanto por haber acabado todo el nivel, por ejemplo, todo básico y adquieres tu, tu diploma o también pues porque ya terminaste básico 7 y adquieres tu certificado pues, en término 5, entonces puedes tener certificado todo, en todos los niveles que tengas. Y por último, las clases eh, suelen tener un número reducido por aula virtual. Aproximadamente son de 12 alumnos y eh, en caso de que el número sea mayor, normalmente pasa en básico en realidad, eh, se, lo que se hace es que a los tres días se pasa la clase y vemos que el número va aumentando, se divide el grupo en cuanto sean, sean posibles para que así la, la clase que tengan sea más reducida y más participativa para ustedes. Bueno, y ahora hablando un poco de las promociones que tenemos ahorita disponibles, tenemos eh, la, el precio regular que es de 79 dólares, que es el precio mensual por curso y también tenemos el de 2 por 130. Aquí puedes acceder a dos cursos, por ejemplo, inglés general y un, una, un curso de conversación o un curso de conversación con un curso de escritura y lo puedes ir combinando. ¿no? Y por último tenemos el de 4 por 250. Acá accedes a cuatro cursos o puedes incluso pagar cuatro meses por adelantado y vas ahorrando que pagar mes a Y por último tenemos las membresías Canoway. Aquí tenemos para 6, 9 o 12 meses. Tú puedes elegir. Y el beneficio de esas membresías es que puedes llevar todos los cursos que quieras. Siempre y cuando cumplas con los requisitos. Ahora, si ustedes han usado de una clase de intermedio, en realidad muchos de los cursos se les abre por tener un nivel de inglés alto. Entonces van a tener varios cursos para poder llevar en paralelo. O se pueden llevar tanto inglés IELTS, un curso de conversación y un curso de escritura. Siempre y cuando, como les digo, cumplan con los requisitos para cada nivel y también tenga disponibilidad del de tiempo. Que no se les cruce los horarios para que puedan eh, entrar a clase.
Ahora, estos precios de las membresías no son los actuales. Ahorita está, si no me equivoco, a 3, 10 dólares menos. 3.89, 4.89 y 5.89. Y van a estar disponibles hasta el día de clases, que es el 5 de junio. Pero ahora, si es que solo quieren probar de repente un mes, dos meses, la promos, la, el precio regular es 79 dólares, va a tener un 10% de descuento por haber asistido a esta clase de demostrativa y eh, solo por su primer mes. O sea, si se inscriben para el mes de junio, van a poder tener ese 10% de descuento disponible solo por este primer mes. Y ya luego pueden adquirir nuevamente el precio regular de 79 o pueden adquirir el 2.30 o alguna membresía. ¿no? Y para poder acceder a este QR, a este, a este descuento, les invito a que aquí en el QR puedan pasar con su celular o les voy a pasar el link del formulario eh, por el chat para que puedan llenar sus datos y así un asesor conozca que usted ha, ha venido acá a la clase y les pueda dar este descuento exclusivo por la asistencia. Y aquí se me pasó. Empieza la clase el 5 de lunes, 5 de junio. De junio. Ahí va a tener las clases. ¿Culpa? Ahí va a tener las clases, sí. Sí, este, en este nuevo inicio es el lunes 5. Yeah. Bueno, sí, aquí estoy para resolver todas sus dudas que tengan en cuanto al curso de inglés general que han, que han experimentado hoy o de algún otro curso en el que estén interesados. Me pueden eh, comentar o escribir en el chat. Igual estoy dejando en el chat de Zoom. Eh, el link del WhatsApp para conversar con un asesor. Este asesor eh, van a hablar con una persona en particular que les va a ayudar también a inscribirse, si son alumnos nuevos, a inscribirse, en, a hacer todo el proceso de inscripción, a, en, a encontrar su clase, del, del link del Zoom. Así que eh, pueden ahí también resolver dudas más específicas de horarios. Y ya. Si tienen alguna consulta, me lo comentan, por favor.